Hey, this is Divya, and today we're gonna look at strong super archer strategies at Town Hall 11. But before that, let's go to the friend request list. Today we have got F. A. Hugo, Malak Zaik, I'm not sure about that, Navneet H2, Shashank MRX, Draco, Gaiman, Rusher. Well, thank you for sending me the friend request. And if I pronounce any of the names wrong, then I'm sorry about that. If you would like to do the same, then this is my player ID. Now off we go to the main video. First we will start with Pekka Smash into Super Archers. It looks kinda overwhelming, but it is pretty simple. We will start with making a funnel on both the sides by sacrificing one Pekka and one Super Archer, both here and on this side. Then we will collapse all the Pekkas towards the middle and then make them a path with our log launcher. Of course we will deploy all the remaining heroes and then all the remaining super archers. Wait, did I just deploy my warden in air mode? Yes, I guess I did. Well, let's see what happens. We will rage here and then we will need to use our warden ability to soak up the eagle strikes. And the CC has been lured so we will also poison here. We will also use the king ability here and it is nice if you can get the king ability triggered under the warden ability. But that was not the case this time so yeah, let's go ahead. After this we have our bat spells to deploy but we will wait for a bit. On the right side the peckers are going in, our queen might fall here so we will have to support her and we will use the queen ability to take down that expo. At this point I really wish I deployed my warden in ground mode because the warden aura really helps all the troops. Well, we will use our bat spells from this side and then we will need to freeze. We'll freeze again. And yes. And the bats are going towards the multi so we will need to freeze here one more time. On the right side the warden has fallen and a single P.E.K.K.A is the only thing that is alive. But there we go, that's a lot of time that is remaining and even if I made a really weird mistake it's still going to connect. Well, to be honest, it has been going on for a while, I somehow managed to do some minor mistakes here and there, but in the end, it works out, somehow. <laughs> well, I think that's because Town Hall 11 strategies are very strong. There's only a few buildings that are remaining, and the bats are going to take care of all of them. The queen is also helping here, and yeah, we still have got a lot of time remaining. Okay, so let's begin our next strategy. This time we will zap out the eagle artillery and then break it completely with the earthquake spell and get some extra damage on the expo. Now on one side we will do our queen charge. So we will deploy the queen and one wizard to cut her path. The healers, a cocoon maybe. And on this side we will deploy a giant followed by two valkyries and the king. Now this completes the funnel on this side. After that we will deploy all the super archers and be sure not to spread them out too much. We want the healers to heal them totally and get the maximum value. Then we will deploy the log launcher. You can also use the wall wallraker but I think in this base the log launcher is the best option. The CC has been lured so we will use the poison spell and the warden will not be able to cover the king but it's fine. We'll use the rage once and then we'll use the warden ability when everything is in the core. The log launcher is going to pop and yeti and one ice golem is going to come out and it would seem the warden ability is also going to cover that ice golem. Well it's not the best but it's okay. We also have 3 sneaky goblins, now I could have got a different troop instead of those but just the super archers are just going to be enough for this whole remaining base. But we will deploy our sneaky goblins here and there, maybe support the queen and yeah. The healers have also spread out a little bit and they're healing different super archers. But sometimes in this strategy, a single super archer gets away from the main pack and ends up stealing all the healers. So keep that in mind and try to avoid that situation. This strategy is definitely overpowered and I have also discussed this strategy's approach without a siege machine. You can check that one out here after watching this video completely. In this case, we are going to finish this base completely and we have a swag queen ability. This time we will do a skelly donut in the super archers. We'll start with rage spell followed by skeleton spells and then invisibility one at a time. 
until the Eagle Artillery and the Clan Castle is completely destroyed. It is okay even if the Clan Castle survives, you must get the Eagle Artillery down, because the Super Archers can deal with the enemy CC easily. Now we will start the funneling, so we will deploy the King here, and then cut his path with the Sneaky Goblin. We'll deploy the Wizard here, and then deploy the Archer Queen, followed by the Healers and of course the Cocoloon. Now from the middle side we will deploy the Giant, a Valkyrie, all the Super Archers, the Log Launcher and the Warden. And finally the Healers and the Balloon. Now I tried to save my Queen here with the Rage spell, but still the Queen ability will be used. But it's okay, let's move on. We will deploy our second Rage here and then deal a lot of damage with our Super Archers. We still have the Rage remaining and I think we will need to use that to save the Queen. In the core we will need to use the warden ability and we have timed it very nicely. We got all of the things inside of it and now we still have got a few cleanup troops. We will deploy them time to time. The yeti has been taken down but we still have got a lot of super archers. There are so many strong strategies at town hall 11 that I couldn't decide that which one is my favorite. The archer tower is tanked so let's deploy this goblin in here. Well, that will fall down, but it's still fine. We still have got two sneaky goblins, and we will deploy them here. The bottom archer tower has fallen down, so we can deploy the wizard. And the archer queen on the top side has taken down that cannon and all the buildings as well. Now, as you can see, this strategy is also very overpowered. Get the key targets and set the funnel right, then this has to connect. Now, if you want to see a very interesting Town Hall 11 war strategy with Super Barbarians, then I will link that video right here. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more related content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye then.